Hi, thanks for using my Court Coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we talk about judgments. What is a judgment? Well, you start off your case with a petition and summons and your petition includes the request or outline of relief that you're requesting through your case. The judgment is the final order that gives you that relief or denies you that relief, um, but in any case addresses the relief that you are requesting. There are many different types of judgments. You can have a judgment for a parentage case. You can have a judgment for a custody and support case. You can have a judgment for a legal separation or a nullity. Um, for purposes of our discussion today, I'm going to be discussing specifically judgments for a divorce. A judgment for a divorce will outline the resolution of the legal issues in the case, whether those were disputed and or agreed upon, including but not limited to division of the couple's marital property, debts, resolution of other financial matters, child custody visitation orders, child support and spousal support, and date of termination of marriage. How do you get a judgment? You can either submit a written agreement, commonly referred to as a marital settlement agreement, or if you two cannot uh, reach an agreement, then you will have a trial. And after hearing and examining all the evidence, the judge will issue a final ruling to resolve the divorce and all the surrounding issues. Um, that Those orders will then be incorporated into the judgment. What is the significance of a judgment? If there have been any temporary orders made in your case, those are extinguished once the judgment is entered, unless they have been addressed or incorporated into the judgment. So if you had a temporary order for child support, um, any order that the court makes in the judgment regarding child support will replace the temporary order that you had previously. The other significance of the judgment is finality. You have now reached the end of your case. There are orders in there and you can seek to enforce those orders if necessary, but as far as dividing assets, making custody decisions, um, support, these are your final orders unless you seek to modify. Some of them you can modify such as custody or support. Some of them division of property, you probably cannot unless you've uh, left an out in the judgment to be able to do so. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.